your Washita Valley Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. Well, happy college game day on the Diamond. Grambling State Baseball spending Friday night on the mound with Arkansas Pine Bluff. It's their final conference homestand of the season. And right now, Grambling State is just trailing behind by one point after the Pine Bluff scored a solo home run in the third inning. Now, the last meeting between the two teams, Grambling swept Pine Bluff in the series, combined for 38 runs in the victory this past April. Grambling State holds a six-win streak over the Golden Lions. The G-Men continues to battle, being in the top spot seed in the SWAC West Division. Grambling are just three games behind from tying at number one overall in the league. I spoke with head coach Davin Pierre about how the team continues to stay motivated by remaining in the top spot in the division. When, when they understand that they're playing for something and they're playing for something different, you know, and we, and we've been blessed at Grambling, man, to I think for the past seven to eight years be playing for a, a division title. And I think that's the biggest thing for us, man. When we get out here, we understand what the what the assignment is. You know, we want to win the Western Division title. And that's what we talk about all the time, man. Not everybody in our league get an opportunity to play for first place week in and week out. And it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. These games are not going to be easy. They're going to be extra inning games. But we feel like, you know, we have all the tools that we need in order for us to be you know, to be successful in our in our goal. So yeah, so I, I'm very passionate about it, and I want them to understand, man. You play at Grambling, man. You're playing for championships. Swinging things over to Monroe, ULM Baseball wraps its home conference play with number 25 ranked Southern Miss. Friday's game is the 67 meeting between the two ball programs and its first meeting as conference ops on the diamond. The Golden Eagles won the last uh, meeting once in 2019, and it's been 10 years since the Warhawks defeated Southern Miss. First pitch has already been thrown. I'll have all the recap later tonight on the Late Show. All right, swinging things over to the high school baseball state championships. Family Community Falls 3-0 to public charter. Number one, Oak Grove, we're leading 6-1 over number three, the Quincy. At last check, Oak Grove were tied 10 in extra innings. West Monroe meets number two, Barb, on Saturday. First pitch is at 5 p.m. And number one, Washita Christian was leading 8-0 over number two, Ascension Catholic. All right, do you have a daughter or know someone who is a woman in sports? We want to celebrate them during our sports cast. Send us a photo or video and the name and age and what sport they play. There's no age requirement, so send us an email at kardsports at nextstar.tv or mornings at nbc10news.net.